Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this brand new 2022 Jeep Gladiator Mojave is stock number 22J48. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator and light duty truck headquarters. Today I'm gonna to go around this Gladiator, we're gonna go over all the features, all the specs, um, what makes the Mojave a special package for this Gladiator. And um, we're just gonna go all the way around, so feel free to enjoy the video, learn a little bit about this particular vehicle. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do videos of our new and used inventory each and every day, in the uh, lower right hand part of the screen, there's a subscribe button. So this particular Jeep Gladiator Mojave has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It puts out 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's gonna get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city, and an average of 19 miles per gallon. So the Mojave package, you can always pick those out, obviously from the Mojave lettering on the side, but they also have all the orange accents. And that's because this vehicle is meant for going off-roading in the desert in sandy conditions. It's kind of the uh, orange is kind of the color they picked. So this thing's got a lot of cool stuff to make it more capable in those conditions. Starting off, it has a one inch lift from the factory. It also has Fox two and a half inch um, internal bypass shocks with reservoirs. It also has the front hydraulic jounce bumpers and you can see those actually have um, shocks in the front bumpers kind of crazy um, so anyways and those actually might be for those front but they're the hydraulic jounce bumpers anyways has the 33 inch falcon wild peak tires these are at3ws and their total size is lt28570 r17s you get the kind of matte finish black and polished aluminum rims i think those look really good this one comes with the color match fenders and the color matched hard top. One of the little Easter eggs on here is the uh, little Jeep climbing up the side. So these are T50s, Torx 50s to get these doors off. I actually have a video showing you how to take your doors off your Wrangler. Be very similar for this particular vehicle as well. This one also comes with the rock rails and if you wanted to check that video, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Um, has the rock rails for when you're doing off-roading. Here's the original window sticker. I'm not going to go through everything, but most of the stuff on here, the 2022 Jeep Gladiator Mojave, black clear coat, black interior, 3.6 liter, eight speed automatic transmission, automatically comes with the Jeep Wave membership. There are those Fox two and a half inch performance internal bypass shocks, the Fox performance hydro jounce bumpers, um, the true lock rear axle, has the heavy duty Dana front and rear wide axles, uh, 410 axle ratio. Everything is your standard equipment on there. And then your optional equipment starts right here with the black clear coat, 395 leather trim bucket seats with sport bolsters. That's an $1,895 option. And um, the eight speed automatic transmission is 2000 bucks, body color, Front hardtop is $26.95. The satin black grill by Mopar is $195. And the body color fender flares are $795. And those low gloss black polished wheels are $1,095. Total MSRP is $58,690 to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen. is a link to our website uh, to this vehicle if it's still available. So check that out. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There is your fuel economy. And then your it's not really rated for a lot of the crash test ratings yet, but it does have a four and five star front crash test rating and a three star rollover. We'll get to the interior in just a little bit. I did want to point out when you get the color match uh, fenders, you get the 3M rock guard on there, the tape right there. So that's pretty cool. And these rear shocks are uh, pretty sweet as well. Like the tread pattern on those tires. And uh, everything back here is definitely heavy duty for off-roading at high speeds through the desert. Um, they beef everything up to withstand the punishment of that. 
get the rear toe hooks. That's like a powder coated orange on there. Jeep, like kind of granite crystal lettering with the orange outlines. Has the LED tail light, shock down assist so it's never gonna slam down on you. You notice it has tire tracks up there. That's to put your bikes, kind of show you where, where to put your bikes if you're bringing dirt bikes with you. LED bed lighting and uh, yeah. These are pretty sweet. My in-laws have one of these gladiators. They love it. Not a Mojave, but they've got just the sport, but just the capability of taking the top off and having a convertible truck is a very, very cool option. I do like the deserated badge that you get on the driver's side. Has the enter and go system inside. You get those leather trimmed bucket seats um, with the orange stitching. You get the Mojave stitched into the backrest and uh, driver's seat height adjuster and lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. You get the orange trim on the doors, power locks, power mirrors. We'll hop inside. Check out the instrument cluster, the radio and everything that this thing has to offer on the interior. You get that Jeep animation at the beginning there. That's pretty sweet. Um, you get a digital speedometer right there. Dim it down here a little bit. And um, you can change all those corners to read whatever you want. You get that, what do they call it? The performance grade steering wheel. Anyways, they say it's for high performance uh, leather on here. You get the thumb pads, the orange stitching set up just like the normal Jeep uh, steering wheels, all of them. I do like the finish on the dash. It's kind of, uh, it's not smooth. It's kind of grainy, like it's got, almost like it's got sand in it. It's really cool. And it's like a kind of a mineral gray, if you will. You get the orange on the air vents there. This one has the 8.4 touchscreen radio. This is the 4C radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Obviously, the nav system. You can connect your um, projection manager, your cell phone, through Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. You get the off-road pages. Uh, we can check those out in just a second. Uh, they take a second to load. And then you have all your different settings on there. This is also where your backup camera shows up. You may be lost, but never stuck in a gladiator. And then you have your drivetrain, your steering angle, your transfer case, your rear axle locker. Right now it's locked, so that's good information. Though. You have your latitude, longitude, um, accessory gauges, and I think you can even edit these and um, change those up. And then you have your pitch and roll there as well. So a lot of cool things you can do with this radio. Um, let's see if we can get the backup camera going here. And what, I, what they've done on these Wranglers and Gladiators is that they've made the backup cameras HD, so they are crystal clear, really easy to see what's going on behind you, which is nice if you're hooking up to a boat or camper. Um, get hooked up the first time every time. You got all your uh, climate controls, your volume and tune controls, or you can do them up here on the radio, of course, AM, FM, and Sirius um, down here. You get your media center, you get an AUGS USB and USB-C axle lock. You can do the, uh, the rear only of off-road mode, um, 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission. You get that orange stitching on there. Keyless entry with the uh, flipper key is pretty sweet. Um, and then they actually have a spot where you can put that key and it's kind of secure. Anyways, uh, you get the orange dash trim on there. The inside is very similar to the Wranglers as far as the hard top pieces in the front go. The back is a different story. It has assistant SOS buttons and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems and auto dimming mirror. We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do a final walk around on the Gladiator here. So this is your case for your front hard top pieces, uh, the back seats trimmed out just like the front seats. It has a manual slide rear window with the built-in rear defrost, which is uh, nice to have that defrost on there. These seats fold up. You get a little storage bin under here. This is your 
um, spot for all your door hinges and roof bolts. When you take the tops and doors off, you have a spot to store those. And then, um, yeah. Really good looking Jeep. There's your child safety locks. Bed rail covers on all the gladiators. And we'll do a final walk around here. Really a cool vehicle. I thought the Hydro Blue was my favorite. Um, I think the black is definitely my favorite on the Gladiators, especially with the Mojave here. So um, we had a Hydro Blue one that we did, but this one, I like this, the looks just a little bit better on this one. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. If you learned something or you liked the video, give us a like, subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you want to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos we do each each and every day here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, I'm super excited. We're super excited to be uh, selling these 2022 Jeep Gladiators, and with the uh, new Jeep showroom coming up soon here, it's, uh, we're going to be getting a ton of this stuff. So thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel, and uh, we look forward to helping you with this Jeep Gladiator.